everyone. My name is Vlada Vladik. I'm a founder of a nonprofit organization called Vlada Seeds of Life. And I am on a mission to bring American families back to dining table for a healthy homemade meal and some quality family time. I'm also very passionate about teaching kids old cooking skills and preserving some of the oldest recipes. Here's my twist to one of those recipes. This particular dessert is called hromashice. Basically, this is a short bread with coconut inside soaked in a lemony honey syrup. We are starting with a cup of unsalted room temperature butter, cup of oil and cup of sour cream. Mix well and add two eggs, after which we're going to add a half a cup of sugar. Now it's time to add one cup of finely shredded unsweetened coconut. Next is one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of real vanilla. All that's left to do is to add flour and we are adding five cups of all-purpose flour. After adding the fifth cup, you can take the spatula out and work the excess of flour gently into a dough. The dough should feel firm enough and yet soft enough. And when you're done, it should look something like this. Cover the dough and let it rest in the fridge for about two hours. Okay, here comes the fun part. Now just roll out a dough ball and then thin it out on one of these shredders. We're gonna stuff this with raisins and walnuts. Now this is optional and you don't have to do it, but I love to find the little surprises in these desserts. So I'm going with our homegrown and home dried raisins. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just wrapping them gently in and now you can see these beautiful patterns on the top. That's why we're using the shredder. Okay, we're gonna do another one with the walnuts and uh, walnuts is my favorite by the way. So just again, line them up and then cover them, roll them in. And this is just one of the way to make it. Now, you don't have to use walnuts or raisins or anything else. You can just make them plain. And this would be the way to do it if you choose not to stuff them. When done, we can bake them on 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes. While they're baking, I'm gonna work on a lemon syrup. Lemon is the key in this recipe because it will help break through the richness of the dough. Measurements for the syrup are above, so just follow them and allow syrup to cook until it reaches the right thickness, which you can see in our next clip. Once cooled, the lemon syrup should be about as thick as the maple syrup we buy in stores. I have already used some of this syrup previously and now I'm coming back with little extra. They are put for a display and as you see I'm just finishing them off with little extra so they don't turn dry on me because the key here is that they are soft and that they taste like a lemon. Use the lemons from the syrup to decorate them. And since we are recreating one of the old recipes, I wanted to share something else with you. I remember my grandmother and my mom often using this special herb, if you will, or plant instead of lemon. This plant is very, very fragrant and unfortunately I don't know its name in English. So if any of you know what I'm holding in my hands, please write to me and let me know what it is. And that's it for today. I had fun baking with you and I want to thank you all for watching. Big thank you to our followers and to the rest of you, please consider joining a channel. We have many more recipes coming your way.